In the last three years, the United Kingdom Connecting Classroom has enabled over 18,000 teachers around the world to benefit from professional development training with over 70% of schools reporting improvement. The program supports young people by developing their knowledge, skills and values through integration of teachers and school leaders to a range of core skills into the curriculum through international school partnerships. Recently, the Connect classroom team visited Lagos, Nigeria, where they met with stakeholders from the state's education sector. The British Council's Collective Classroom Program is to develop and not just new links involving Nigeria and United Kingdom, so that the links could promote better understanding of global issues for teachers and students in the UK and Nigeria. Suffice it to say that no fewer than 55 public schools across the state are already in the partnership with other schools from the UK on the Connecting Classroom Program. I cannot thank the British Council enough for this collaboration. According to the Director, British Council Education in Nigeria, Mrs. Adedo Ishoinka, the main objective of the organization is to promote the exchange of knowledge between the UK and other countries. As an organization, the British Council, our main objective is to establish mutually beneficial relationships to promote the exchange of knowledge and partnerships between whatever country we find ourselves in, in this case Nigeria and the UK, that's what the Connecting Classrooms program has been set up for. In her goodwill message, the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Dr. Mrs. Idiot Adebule, assured those present that the Lagos State government will ensure the success of the program in order to improve the learning outcome of students. Let me assure you that Lagos State will not leave any stone torn to ensure the success of this program. The focus of the cooperation between the Ministry and the Council is equally not lost on us, and we recognize the purpose <coughs> is to work the journey of adopting and displacing new educational trends in the state framework with a view to enhance performance, administrative efficiency, and build up LSG schools to global standards. Corner part, the Chief Executive Officer, Bay Education Trust UK, Jane English, disclosed that the partnership between the British Council and the Lagos State Government has yielded positive results. Those partnerships benefit both countries, the UK and Nigeria. We gain a huge amount from coming here and seeing how things operate in Lagos, and I hope very much that the teachers and head teachers that come to the UK gain a great, great deal from, from working with us. Some of those present at the meeting shared their views with Education Report on TV. It is toward building the capacity of our teachers and students, most especially to make our students global citizens, so that whatever is being learned from partnership with the British teachers can also be used in our schools towards improving students' performances. Their reception towards what we bring forward to the table has always been very warm and inviting. And we're happy to see that even as we have moved into a new program, we're working with more teachers in Lagos State, taking them through different levels of trainings, to see how we can improve their teaching and learning, so as to make sure that we bring about effective learning in our schools in Lagos State and in Nigeria as well. The Connecting Classroom visited seven schools in the state. One of the schools visited was Modupe Cole Memorial School, and there some of the students told Education Report on TV how they were able to overcome the challenges of life. To me, there is ability in disability. I think me being in Unilag and still in this condition is the, I'm bringing out the ability in me and it to stand as a kind of encouragement for other people out there that think they can't do anything or they can't go to school. The sky is not even the limit for us as a physically challenged people. We can go higher even than um, university degree. Most of those efforts is not really personal. Help of the teachers too, but I was just committed. I know I'm meant for something, I just have to go for it. So I was really, really looking at the aim of it at the end of the day. A sensitization program was also organized with the Chief Executive Officer, Bay Education Trust UK, as the facilitator. The program was interactive in nature. Participants at the training shared the lessons learned with Education Report on TV. I am an evaluator. So when I go out on monitoring of what we call teaching and learning, 
I will ensure that the teachers I monitor make use of this deep learning that is through questioning, using of open questions like we have learned today, that they shouldn't make use of closed questions because it doesn't encourage the learners to learn much. This is one of the most exciting seminars I've ever attended. In fact, it has really broadened my knowledge on how to improve learning by making it child-centered with the use of core skills. By helping them, by motivating them and encouraging them that they can do what other people are doing in the, their colleagues are doing in the regular school. Do it might take time before they get to where they are meet in the regular settings are. It will still encourage them that they can do better. For example, we have two of the students now that just got admission into GS1 at the age of 20. So that is how we do encourage them to get to the higher institution. As a program that promotes teachers' development, Connecting Classroom has no doubt provided opportunities for teachers to work together to implement the core skills in the classrooms.